did exceed and beat him above these with many stripes, then thy brother should seem vile unto thee. So he's saying that's vile. When you go about this cruel and unusual punishment and just beating someone to a bloody pulp, that's vile. So it's a pretty extreme situation that he's conjuring up there to say, to use the word vile to describe, right? This isn't just a norm. I mean, this isn't like, okay, the guy got 10 beatings. That's vile. No, no. This is like, he's going way above and beyond these 40 beatings and just, you know, completely bloodied mess. That's vile. And it is. That's vile. It's appropriate use of the word vile. Uh, Judges chapter 19 is another time the word vile is used. And if you're familiar with Judges 19, that's when the Sodomites surround the house just like they did in Genesis 19 with Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot. Judges 19, the man is traveling through town. He's there with his concubine. And the men of, the, the men of Belial, the children of Satan, show up and they surround the house going, hey, get that guy out here, right? And they wanted to do vile things. Judges 19, 24 says, Behold, here is my daughter, a maiden. So this is the man of the house trying to appease the people and trying to get them not to do what they came there to do. He says, but here's my daughter, a maiden, and his, and his concubine. Them I will bring out now and humble you them and do with them what seemeth good unto you. But unto this man do not so vile a thing. So what they wanted to do to that man is a vile thing. It's a very vile act for a man to be with a man, and especially a man to force a man. This is a vile thing, right? Just keep that in mind. That's vile. 1 Samuel 3, verse 13, in reference to Eli's sons. Remember, Eli was a priest. And Eli was a decent priest. He's the one that helped raise Samuel. But his sons, the Bible calls his sons children of Belial. Again, Judges 19, 1 Samuel 3, Eli's sons, they were children of the devil. They were reprobates. In 1 Samuel 3, 13, it says, For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth. So God's going to judge Eli's house because he knew that there was iniquity going on. He didn't stop it. And it says, because his sons made themselves vile and he restrained them not. So his sons were these whoremongers in the house of the Lord and they were making people despise even bringing their offerings to the Lord. And they were children of the devil and the bio, God says that they were vile. Those were vile people. They made themselves vile. He restrained them not. Isaiah, and, you know, again, I'm just bringing up these examples so you understand the word vile and that it's not a light word. It's more of an extreme word. Important to know because Psalm 15.4 is telling us that we're supposed to have, a con have contempt for a vile person. Right? So we don't want to misapply what a vile person is. We don't want to go too far in, in labeling somebody vile that's not really vile. So we need to understand what, well, what, how does the Bible use this word? What is appropriate? 